We're gonna read a story, I'm gonna tell you why it's awesome, and then we're gonna dance, dance, dance. Welcome to Allison's Story Party, where we read stories and learn how to feel awesome. And I am so excited for the story we're gonna read today because I cannot read this book to my kids without crying. And you're gonna be confused because this book is called Thelma the Unicorn. It just, sometimes it hits a little too close to home. So let's get ready to read this story. This book is Thelma the Unicorn by Erin Blaby. Ooh, Blaby, Blaby. I don't know, Erin, that's, that's how I think we say your name. Ooh, and look at this pink. It looks like my friend Frank, the flamingo. He's my good friend. Thelma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. Oh, Thelma, been there. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said, you're perfect as you are. But Thelma said, I'm not. Oh, look at Thelma looking at that big horse. And that was when she saw it, a carrot on the ground. It gave her such a great idea. She squealed and jumped around. She took that simple carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work, who knows? Well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief, is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it very nearly hit her. Would you believe that that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? <gasps> oh, oh, wait. Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. <gasps> I'm special now, she cried out loud. And so a star was born. I mean, <laughs> all across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame. Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true. But soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky too. You see, her fans were mad for her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They'd chase her everywhere she went to get her autograph. In fact, they'd chase her all day long. It never, ever stopped. They chased her while she exercised. They chased her while she shopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. Do you think that's true? No. And some were not her fans at all. No, some were really mean. And some just did the meanest things she'd really ever seen. So one dark night, she felt quite sad, this famous little pony. She said, I thought that I'd feel great, but all I feel is lonely. And so with that, she changed her mind, this lonely unicorn. She cleaned off all her sparkles and she ditched her magic horn. And then she walked right past the crowd. They didn't even notice. She thought how nice that it would be to see her lovely Otis. And when he asked about her trip beneath their favorite tree, she simply said, oh, that was fun, but I'd rather just be me. What did Thelma learn? Thelma, like so many of us, thought that fun, fancy things and being famous and have everyone loving us and looking cool would make us feel good on the inside. But that is a trick. It's a lie. Everything that comes from the outside doesn't make you feel good on the inside. How do you feel good on the inside? By being yourself by sharing your love and talents, and by surrounding yourself with people who love you for exactly who you are. I have two favorite parts of this book, and one of them is, and some were not her fans at all. See, Thelma is wearing a shirt that says roller skating for charity, 
And Thelma thought if she just did nice things and was nice to everybody, she could make everybody like her. But unfortunately, we can't control how other people feel. So you just have to do good things so you feel good on the inside. And then the lesson that Thelma learns at the end is she just wants to be with her friend Otis. And you wanna know why she wants to be with her good friend Otis? Because he loves her for being exactly who she is. I love this lesson we learned from Thelma and I know it's gonna help you feel more awesome. But you wanna know what else is gonna help you feel awesome? Dancing. Dancing is one of the fastest ways to change your mood. So now I'm gonna teach you one of my favorite dance moves. It's called Only You Can Be You. Are you ready? Let's do it. You don't need a horn or fancy clothes or flashy earrings to be special, but if you like them, you should wear them. Now are you ready to learn the only you can be you? Let's do it. And remember, it's fun to dance, but even more fun with friends. I've got Michelle. Hey Michelle. We start like this. We put our hands on our hips and work it out. Yes. Yes. Ooh, I like that. That looks good. You look good. Okay. Now we're ready for only, only you can be you. Only you can be you. Only you can be you. Then you work it all around. Yeah, good pointing. Break it down. Booty shake, booty shake, booty shake. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this story, and I want you to remember, only you can be you, and you're already as awesome as you need to be. I love you.